Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to continue working with Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law to solve circuits. So here we have a circuit on the board. You can see at a glance that it's a little bit more complicated than what we've been doing in the past. The reason it's more complicated mostly is that there's multiple loops going on everywhere. Uh, and because of that, it means the current is going to be branching different directions. I mean, the current's going to come out of the source, it's going to branch here. Some of it's going to go this way, and whatever gets over here is going to branch like this. And you're going to have some coming around, and so on and so on. So the branching that, and the recombination of current that happens in all the circuits, uh, once they get to a level of complexity like this, makes it difficult to solve them with, with uh, unless you're using Kirchhoff's laws or, or some other technique that we'll learn in the future. So we have uh, all of the resistors labeled. We have the source voltage known. Um, and we're also given some more information. We know by what's given to us that there is one amp in this top guy right here. We know that. Uh, we also know that this is labeled, the current through this re resistor is labeled I sub 1. Uh, that's sort of given to us. So what you see here is what you would be given on your paper or on your test. Here's a current up here, here's a current labeled, find I1. That's the only thing we're asked to find. Now again, there's more than one way to solve a problem. I'm going to solve it for you here in a way to show you kind of different techniques to do it. You might look at this problem or the next problem that we do and you might say, well, I could just, I could find this and I could find this and then I've got the answer maybe a little bit faster. That's fine. There's multiple ways to solve the problem. So keep in mind that when I'm doing these, I'm showing you kind of like the first thing that came to mind when I did the problem, but also keep in mind that my goal is to show you a variety of different things to think about. So you might see something a little different, that's fine, as long as you're writing valid equations. So uh, my first thought was, when I looked at this, I didn't see anything that jump, jumps out at me as far as a, a, a quick way to, to solve this guy, because the current that we want is was way down here. So what I thought I should do is to start writing Kirchhoff current law and Kirchhoff voltage law equations and try to get a system of equations that would allow me to find the, uh, the, uh, the currents in, in the legs of the circuit that I want. So before you can really do that, you really need to uh, label some things. Uh, so on your paper, you would redraw the circuit and, and add some labeling, or you could use a different colored pencil or something to try to redraw it. So I want to label the current here, and I need to call it something. I sub 1 is already taken, so I'm going to call it I sub A right here. The current coming out of this node here, I'm going to call it I sub B. All right, and then the current over here in this leg, I'm going to call I sub C. So what I have in blue is labels that I've added myself uh, after, I've, after I've actually done it. Now, you know, when you, when you look over here in the circuit, you're going to start writing Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law equations in the same way that we've been doing in the previous sections. But I want to caution you again to something that's very, very important. When you write these guys, you really, to, to solve a circuit completely, which is what we're going to be doing here, um, you really need to know how many valid equations you can write of each. And so the rule of thumb is, however many nodes you have in the equation, you can write one minus that number of Kirchhoff current law equations. And however many loops you have in the, in the uh, circuit, you can write 1 minus that number of Kirchhoff voltage law equations. So it's very easy to remember. However many nodes you have, you can write 1 minus that number of current law equations. How many loops you have, you can write 1 minus that uh, number of uh, Kirchhoff voltage law. Now keep in mind, though, for the nodes, it's very easy. There's a node here, there's a node here, there's a node here, and there's an interconnection point.